All right, so let's be honest. 2v2 is pretty awesome. You can play with friends, your clan mates, and even do a quick match. And the best thing about it all, it doesn't affect your trophies. Like, you just don't lose trophies. I mean, you don't really win any when you win, but you don't lose any when you lose. That's pretty cool. The chess count for my legendary chest when this whole month of 2v2 started was about around 200 trophies away. It's at 42 now. Pretty awesome. You can see I've actually jumped trophies. I've actually climbed the ladder a little bit while this was going on. But of course, on accident. You heard me. On accident. We've all done it. You know, you're gonna do a quick match or play with your friend, but you're a little distracted doing something else and you accidentally hit the battle button, like just accidentally. And to make things worse, you could be using like the worst deck in the world. No, not maybe the worst, well, I make some pretty bad decks. But let's say you wanted to see how low you can make your elixir cost while dueling a friend and then you hit the battle button. Yeah, things get messy. I mean, it's not like we asked for it. It's just you forgot that was the deck you were using last time you were playing. But when you accidentally win, oh man, yeah, it's a good feeling. Oh, and if you're wondering why I'm suddenly in Magical Arena and not Jungle Arena, well, I mean, that was tournament gameplay. What do you think I'm going to battle just for this video no you can't deny that this whole month of 2v2 has done our channels i mean not channels you, well not everyone has a youtube channel but you know your profile a lot better like i'm almost to level 10 i think before this i was barely level 9 maybe just her. No, that sounds a little too unreal. The truth is, it's been this way for so long, I don't even remember how my account was before the month of 2v2. But, five days left, so let's milk it while we can. But, not everything's perfect. And for example, these 2v2 challenges Supercell keeps coming out with, expecting people to have a fair, you know, competitive experience out of these when half the time your teammate leaves or just doesn't do anything or a connection error occurs and maybe that's why they leave let's be honest it's happened to all of us but half the time or more than half the reason they leave is just to troll you I honestly don't understand why supercell has made it a thing to just choose a clan mate or choose who you're going to do the tournament with it would lower defeats tremendously. You'd be playing with someone you know is going to have your back and play, you know, up to your standards with someone you know is going to be playing alongside you. Not some random person you find in a quick match, matchmaking scenario where you don't even know if their cards are going to be viable. I mean, let's face it, some decks are pretty good, but paired up with others, they may not perform as well as they should, compared to if they're paired up with a deck that perfectly suits their needs. Nevertheless, I still get really excited when I see, like, two Inferno Dragons or four Wizards. I mean, it's one thing to just clone your way away and use Mirror to get up as many of the same cards as you can. But I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I get a certain feeling a little different than when I'm mirroring and cloning my cards. When I know those two Inferno Dragons or Electro Wizards or Night Witches are natural drops, it's just your teammate has the same card. The only problem with having the same card is sometimes you both have arrows. Yeah. Another thing
thing that kind of sucks about 2v2 is when your teammate activates the clan tower. Like, come on, dude. I simulated this footage, but another thing is when a giant skeleton's coming towards your tower, and instead of distracting it, making it go somewhere else, your teammate drops something right next to your tower, and then before shortly, everything dies, and even if he does die, his bomb just like obliterates your tower. Thanks. All that being said, it's still really awesome just being able to play with your friend or anyone in your clan. You know, this game is still f fairly new, I would say. I mean, not new, but there's still so many things they can still add to the game. Who knows? I think they should add, like, a campaign, like a short little, maybe, like, one arena campaign. I mean, I know they make you go against the trainer, like, what, like, five times? But I'm talking about, like, you know how in uh, Hearthstone, if any of you know what Hearthstone is, you can play, like little story modes. Anyways, I've seen that floating around where people would like that. But yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's something nice to add to the game, playing with a friend. And um, I think the coolest thing is being able to cycle through your chest without losing trophies. You know, there's not much of a commitment there. Anyways, that's the good and the bad of what I see anyways when it comes to 2v2. And uh, if you have something that I left out, leave a comment down below. Share me your thoughts on 2v2. If you think it the bad outweighs the good, or if you don't have any views of anything being bad at all. Anyways, this is Kanoga. See you on the next video. Peace.